to many people, it seems like crime is getting worse. However, according to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, the picture is much more complex. At the Wednesday morning press conference, police revealed a detailed picture of crime in St. Lucia. From 2023 to 2024, reported crimes declined by 20 percent. Uh, figures 8,480 in 2023, and that reduced to 6,758 for the same period this year. That represented a 20 percent decline of overall crime. Detection of crimes was down 16 percent, but remained strong at 57 percent. As for categories of crime, it is surprising to learn that violent crimes that dominate the media make up a single digit percentage of all crimes. Distribution of crime categories. Crime against persons accounted for 19% of total crimes, while offenses against property made up 20%. Summary offenses dominated the categories, representing 54% of the total 6,758 incidents. Other categories, such as firearm and drug offenses, collectively contributed 4%. In spite of this, the waves of crime and violence in Viewfort earlier in the year dominated the statistical picture. For the year 2024, the Southern Division recorded the highest number of cases, accounting for 47% of total incidents. The Central Division followed with 28%, while the Northern Division made up 25% of the total, total number of cases. While the crime waves provoked a justified alarm in the island, it is important to note that most people and communities are not in the hot pockets of St. Lucia where these crimes are concentrated. It is probably more important to remember that overall, crime in St. Lucia peaked in 2022. From 2020 to 2024, crime against persons peaked in 2022 at 1,957, but steadily declined to 1,317 in 2024. Offenses against property followed a similar trend, picking in 2022 at 2,092 and decreasing to 1,344 by 2024. Drug and firearm offenses also showed a not noticeable reduction after the year 2004, two, sorry, flowing to 2024. However, one reason for alarm remains consistent and true, even in the statistics. Over the past five years, both homicides and murders have shown a consistent increase with 2024 recording the highest numbers. As of August 27th, 2024, that's yesterday's date, there have been 54 homicides of which 51 were classified as murders and three police shootings. For the same period last year, 2023, there were 59 homicides of which 56 were classified as murders, two police shootings, and one unclassified. The police provided a wide range of statistics detailing the true picture of crime in St. Lucia. Over the next few days, Choice News will delve into the numbers to help bring a clearer, less fear-driven picture of the situation, hopefully with the assistance of the police, who are adamant that they are not the enemy, they are here to help. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seaflay.